years old and this is my first band and I've been doing it like not even three years <laughs> and to have somebody that I've been raised on from birth musically and it's like a large reason about like a large reason why I even create or even have a voice like I didn't get singing lessons or anything it's just like growing up singing along to Stevie. DJ Spinner has already shown him our music. I mean, and there wasn't like this publication and like Twitter outburst, but like I know he's, it's reached his ears. And for me, like that's just like beyond, beyond amazing. We have a new song called Breathing Underwater that I wrote specifically because it was like all these amazing people kept hearing our music and I was like, what is Stevie heard? I was like, I have to write an entirely new song that's got a key change in it just so that he likes it extra. And like, and now, I mean he hasn't heard that song but he's heard our music so thank you DJ Spinner. And the crazy thing was I'd never seen Purple Rain before because I'd been kind of saving it and then stay up to like 4 in the morning watching Purple Rain. And I was like all up in the world of Prince and then I woke up and I got a call about something else apparently. It's like, oh, it's, how crazy is the Prince thing? I'm like, what? How do you know I watch Purple Rain? Like, no, no, no. Like, he it about I was like, what? So that was really kind of left. Did that surprise <laughs> you guys? Yeah. <laughs> Prince yeah. is like that though, he's yeah. he's spontaneous and crazy. Like we just recently got an email when we were in LA asking us to play at his house. I mean, yeah. it, never, it never went through because like we had gigs and yeah, we got such a nice schedule, like but You didn't do it. Well, we, no, we, no, we, no, we, it was like, you know, there was... Every night, yeah. The situation that we ended up with um, with Salam was ended up being a perfect situation. He's a super calming presence. He's a musician and a producer first. You know, he's a creative being first and someone who really cares about um, what he's creating. And so for this being his first role as the sort of a label guy, you know, he's really brought all that mindset with him, you know, and the whole you know, his whole concept for Flying Buddha is just I want to connect with artists who are just going to do their thing and they, they're going to take care of the art of creating music you know? and we don't have to change that because you know like you know he, he trusted us after we you know, talked Tomahawk had done its thing you know he was like all these guys are they're doing their thing nobody has to step in I don't have to like get some other producer to come in and like with the formula you know